This is Intuitive Spiritual Guidance for February 2014. I'm feeling that um, there's somebody out there or some of you who are feeling like um, you need to loosen up because you've got something inside of yourself that you're holding on to and it's like it's in your stomach and it's formed like a, a rock and this feeling is really tight and I feel that it's uh, delimiting and that it's um, holding you back so a theme that um, just came through is for you to let loose loosen up and let go lots of L's um, so that's really important and it matches nicely with um, this card which represents the base chakra which is um, the lower chakra and this is connected to issues regarding any kind of earthly matter, finances, and I'm, even just the word survival. And for some reason that word just really popped out. So survival. There might be someone out there who's feeling like they're barely making ends meet or for whatever reason, even if it's a physical um you know, uh, disability or just something that's debilitating them in one way or another, emotionally or physically or mentally. It's like, um, it's down to basic survival or that's just how you feel at this point. So this could be with um, issues about the body or money or sustenance of life, feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling um, that you can be sheltered and, and okay. So um, just watch your thoughts about money and manifestation. Uh, so that's a reminder now for February. Um, and a good affirmation for that is miracles are blossoming into my life. And see how these hands are open and we have this um, like a lotus flower, a flower opening up to the light with growth. And that's about letting go. So let go of that rock in your stomach and um, visualize yourself opening up into the expanse of possibilities. And also joy is a theme for February. This is about um, filling your heart with childlike wonder. So you can say the affirmation, childlike wonder fills my life. So visualize yourself as soaring into joy. This is also really about letting go and loosening up, loosening up from other people's expectations and your own expectations for yourself, which might have gotten a bit um, out of control. So um, this also matches the theme of a happy family life, security at home, financial security, and finding magic in the little things in life. So see so you have this a beautiful picture here of um, of angels and, and little children and it's just filled with delight and if you can find those delightful magical magical moments in your life that's what it's all about uh, letting go of everything else and then I'm feeling uh, there's some red and purples there in the background I'm feeling that that will bring you passion and joy by loosening up and um, getting in touch with just the magic that surrounds you all the time. And also think about who around you, whether it's your own children or other people around you, that can play with you in this way. So um, there's a relationship that continues to grow closer to closer. Uh, you continue to grow closer and there's forgiveness and a positive resolution of a conflict. So think about somebody in your life who you've been feeling a little bit conflicted with, even if it's a silent conflict, like internally that you've been mulling over or suffering from. So um, this is a good sign of you growing closer and um, some solution there and we have some little waves that are happening there and it's just a, a sign of movement um, movement and getting that energy so get um, that stagnant old sort of um, bothersome energy away from you the anger and the, resent, the resentfulment and all those thoughts that just fill up your day because again we want to fill up our days with the magic and wonder and good thoughts 
Um, so there is a signification of some kind of celebration happening. So this can just represent um, good times ahead, um, unity between people. And again, this might relate to that relationship. Um, and that relationship, by the way, is any kind. It doesn't need to be romantic. Um, and so there might also be some kind of happenings going on, whether it's a birthday or a wedding or um, the announcement of a birth or something like that. So um, regardless of all that, it's just really outlines that need to have more fun in your life. And again, this really blends in with the words which I'd gotten to loosen up. Okay, so next I'd like to, let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to put these ones up. Because I've already, um, what I usually do is always pre-pull the cards. Okay, so this is look deeper. And this is about really looking within. And I'm just um, noticing right now that she's popping her hands into this um, little pool of water, which is like a well. And it perfectly resonates with another card that i um, also drew here and I've only just noticed the link now and it's called the well watcher and here we have a well okay so I'm going to put these cards side by side what does the uh, symbol of a well represent to you what does it draw up for you for me this is about going within to your inner well the source of much intuition, your connection uh, with the deep well of the unconscious realms where all knowledge is. And, um, and that's really the water there as well. So there's water which represents the deep subconscious mind as well as all knowledge and also emotions. And, um, and I feel that there are emotions there and water is a very clearing, healing energy. And it is like it is saying for you to drink from the water well of divine wisdom and healing. That's the, what I'm feeling from that. So there is much wisdom and power and divinity and healing in waters. And perhaps you feel like you are a well of emotions or you've welled up or something like that. So um, you can think about the play on those words there for yourself. And everything is a learning experience, and that's really um, an important thing to remember. And I feel here that she is um, has this dove in her hands, and she's about to let it go and release. So I'm feeling releasing needing to happen here. And this is, again, about that notion of letting go and loosening up. Um, letting go of all those emotions and thoughts. A powerful theme for February is intuition, and that's also a theme for 2014 in general. Um, actually, in my newsletter, Awakening Spirit, that comes out every month, for February, I write about um, 2014. I've continued from January, the January newsletter, so the link's below, and um, you can access my, my newsletter through the link, and then you can also access um, back copies so you can have a look at January as well. So in January and February newsletters I talk about um, 2014 uh, numerology, general guidance that comes through, um, the power of numbers and the number seven that 2014 adds up to this year and I look really deep into that as well as that now we have the Chinese New, he New Year which has just kick-started at the end of January and it is the year of the horse and um, and I really talk about um, what the horse means and how it will, um, how that energy of the horse will affect us this year. And it's really interesting read as well. Um, and you might have your own feelings and thoughts and associations of what a horse is and what that um, beautiful horse energy um, can bring to us. Okay, so intuition. This is again about looking within. And before we had the well of wisdom, and here we have like a, a shield or a mirror of, of galactical knowledge or cosmic um, kind of awakening um, and a real sense of knowledge behind the hidden door. Um, what else did I have here? So um, 
I just wanted to say with that as well um, that I have this card here which is it says deception and envy okay so um, the feeling that I'm getting here is more to do with illusions and things not being as they appear so you might feel that with for other people around you might be wearing a kind of a mask or a metaphorical mask and disguising themselves or or something is not quite as it appears so that's something to think about and I've put it next to the intuition card because this is about knowledge and really gaining that wisdom and insight for yourself and truth um, and see how her veil is slightly peeled back to reveal her full truth and her naked self and again that in a different way is represented here. I'm feeling now these these gold um, squiggly lines to me representing like a gold pathway to truth and we also have um, three lines and three is a sacred number of Trinity and there um, the Trinity is really a connection between the power of three of um, your wisdom and your awakening um, and your and, and the powerful mind that you have, as well as that connection between yourself, God, um, your physical self, and your higher self. So they're all things to think about too, and getting that into synchronicity and uh, and lining up for you. Um, okay. Some of you may have felt like you've walked out from a bit of conflict, um, and you might feel a little bit defeated. Um, but you're letting go and walking away now and it's time to stand your ground and get back to your sense of self-power. So it's about empowerment and knowing that you hold the power for yourself, not somebody else. Now good news has been on the way for you or it's in the process of coming to you. Um, and this can also um, represent public recognition and rewards. And also, um, there's a sense of peace and abundance, contentment. The four here really represents um, like a structure that is really secure. So again, this comes back to security. And notice that these two cards are fire cards and they have a red border. And I'm just connecting that now with the, um, the first card I think that I showed you, which was the base chakra, which is the red. So here again, this is about your physical security, sense of security. Then we have um, events that are occurring with great speed. And notice this unicorn now, which again is like a horse figure. And one of the things about the year of the horse is uh, a quickening. Um, things will be coming to you really quickly, like the speed of a horse. And this person is valiantly galloping ahead. So this is really like a little sign of what is to come this year. And it's like the seed is there for you in February. So... Um, Think carefully, though, before you leap. Um, review all options and look over everything, and there are creative solutions coming for you. Don't forget how powerful your own creativity is, um, um, and you have the power to manifest and for things to grow this month. So a beautiful, fertile, and intuitive month. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to more intuitive guidance with you this year. God bless you all. Please feel free to comment or um, pop me a note on Facebook. All links are below. Okay. Namaste.